Y'all know Lexus, right? <laughs> Y'all know me. Y'all know me. You know, like I know. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lexus. We're here to do a mukbang. <laughs> We're here to do a mukbang. Okay, mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. There's this place called Porto's by us. It's kind of like Nando's, but like not as good. Nonetheless, it, it gets is, the job done. It gets the job done. You know what I'm saying? We got some chicken. Some chicken here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's a whole chicken. These fries. They're really not even fries. They're cassava fries. I'm guessing cassava is a melon. Um, and then we have corn on the cob. We're gonna go ahead and start eating because I don't want this to get too cold because I like my food burning hot. But, you know, for you guys, I'm gonna eat lukewarm food today. In this video, we're also gonna be answering questions. Lexus is Cameron's younger sister. Only um, sister. Only sister. How, how old were you when we met? You were 14. <laughs> so it's been a minute since we've known each other. The majority of the questions are all the same. What was our first impression of each other? Did we like each other? Did we instantly become friends? I'm gonna let you go first. Wait, which but you said like seven things. I mean, pretty much like when we met, like what did you think of me? I didn't think anything. When I first meet people, I don't go based off of that because you can't really tell until you like. You don't judge people. Like random strangers, but if I'm like first meeting you to get to know you for like the rest of my life, like you're kind of stuck with me. The boy's hot. Uh, the I just thought you were quiet because you only talked to Cameron. Yeah, you were quiet. I I felt I'm like still quiet though. You're not. I am. You're outspoken when you want to be. When we when we first met, I swear you didn't like me. The thing is, we were long distance, so like if I was spending time. With him, I didn't want to spend my time with nobody else because I only had a limited amount of time to see him. So I really wasn't trying to share. Mm -hmm. But now that he abandons me all the time, I need you. You know? <laughs> oh, I ain't nobody's second choice. I don't say you're my second choice. You're like. So it sounds like even Gigi agrees. Are you struggling over there? These are so hard. <laughs> it's not really a fry, so it's throwing me off because it's not a fry. This is supposed to be hard though. I mean, it's not that hard. That's I heard you said. crunch on it. It's like. I mean, you were nice though. I don't even remember like talking to you that much until like we got married. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, I wanted to be a bridesmaid. And then I was like, wow, when did you say that? Me and Landon used to come in y'all's conversation. Yeah, but that was like our conversation though. Like we never had like a one-on-one -on -one, like, conversation. You didn't care. You didn't if ask I asked for your her. number, you probably would have left me on red. I d no, I had your number by then, Lexus. Lexus was a lot younger than me. Well, I mean, you're still the same amount. Of I'm years. like, <laughs> but you're you're like grown now. I mean, semi-grown. You're grownish. I don't know. You were young, so young. We couldn't really relate on that level. But then I feel like as you got older, you know, you blossomed. <laughs> wow. And what about you? You didn't blossom. I did. Okay. We became a lot more open and friendly you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. somebody asked were you jealous having to share cameron you know, it wasn't that deep to me I mean, <laughs> he's never here so he was right. never at home anyway <laughs> so, he's always gone doing something yeah and now i'm like that i think it's his fault him and my mom like they're always on the go so now i feel like if i'm not doing anything then i'm not doing anything you know what i'm saying i don't want to say like I was jealous. I just didn't want to share my time. Cause we're like I said, we've been long distance for so long and then we got married and it's like, wow, I don't want to spend time with other people. I want to spend time with my husband. But as time went on, I'm like, mm, he's going to be gone all the time. So I need to make friends with other people. <laughs> How do we build our relationship slash become close? Who said I was close to <laughs> I'm kidding. I think just over time, we just, we're always around each other. So. We just, we have history. <laughs> I think the more we got to know each other, the more we realized how alike we are. I fools with Lex. I was also like away at school when we started. You were. I forgot yeah, about like that. she was getting on my nerves, y'all. What? Oh my gosh, wait. When? Vicky doesn't know that she does this. What? So I'm, what I'm, I'm applying to colleges and she's like, you ain't going nowhere. You about to be right up the street. Da 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 da. And I was like, first of all, chill. I'm not gonna be up nobody's street. <laughs> when I was like, yeah, I'm going to Ball State in Indiana, she was like, no, you're no. not. So I was like, all right, bet. 
then it actually came the day you know she took me and then i think she realized like dang this is real so i was like yes i proved her wrong <laughs> <laughs> i grew and i learned who i was when i was away at school in a positive way so oh, that's a good segue somebody asked lexus how is life after college <laughs> this is not a good segue <laughs> how's life it's really weird because school is my whole identity like i've been in school my whole life see that's how i feel and now that i'm not there like i feel unproductive like what am i doing with my life and i didn't really understand sizzle when she was like you stuck in those 20 somethings <laughs> now i feel her on a deep spiritual level on a deep spiritual level 20 somethings are difficult people don't really give they it enough are. credit because people act like everything hard comes like when you're 30 and all that nah bro i heard 30s is like the golden years i don't know because you done figure yourself out you know what i'm saying you done settled yeah. 20s is so unsure you're, you're so unsure about a lot of things yeah it's the time in my life where i'm just gonna be open to whatever floor has for me you know this is the most i've ever second guessed myself ever in life after i hit 25 i was just like wow i don't know what i'm doing right now <laughs> like wow who am i do i even know who i am yes. anymore like let's start over you know, i just feel like i need to rebrand myself like i need all new clothes new hairstyles you just gotta do that sometimes i just i color my hair every so often just so i can like switch it up i don't like people to get too comfortable because i don't really know where i'm going with this what is your favorite thing about each other or what do you like about each other oh oh <laughs> that's so sweet tender moment no vicky she's a very given person like oh she doesn't care like who it is like she she will don't even know you and she'll give to you uh, she'll pay for you to do something. She'll pay for your food. And it's just like, wow. Because, yeah, I'm not going to throw nobody under the bus. <laughs> Especially, like, with all that she gets. Like, some people will probably hoard it and just... Girl, I can hoard this stuff. I want to. I'm sure keep this to myself. But, yeah. It's not even about the makeup. Just, like, her attitude about giving. It's like, she going to be a trillionaire. <laughs> A trillionaire. Um, I think what I like most about Lexus, Lexus and Cameron are so much alike. It's really ridiculous. So she so likes everything. Pretty much me. the same okay. things that I like about <laughs> Lexus. I like about Cam too. I don't know. Like y'all are like really like nice and forgiving and gracious people. They're so graceful, even when they touch things, like the way they handle things. They just they baby everything. You know they like. With your little baby hands, they touch everything with such tender love and care. I just need to. Do I have baby hands? She has baby hands, y'all. I think they're normal size for my body. No, they're not. I but most I'm really people, abrasive. So. Yeah, most country people are aggressive with things like. Yeah, we are. Just slamming stuff, <laughs> getting doing stuff real quick. Like if a, if you do it too fast, you know something. It's not that y'all move slow, but y'all move slow. Gracious, you take your time. Gracious is kind of like slow. Yeah. But I'm like, they keep me calm. They calm me down. And then also, Lexus is more safe than all of us. If anybody's <laughs> going to heaven, it's Lexus. Because she loves the Lord. She be having me get my life right. I'm like, wow, I feel convicted. I need to read my Bible today. When? You Y'all don't know. Lexus be on her campus preaching and stuff. That's not my campus when I was in more. college, when I was in college, I was not trying to be nobody's, nobody's example. But your parents trust you. To go off and do your own thing, you know what I'm saying? You're a good preacher's kid. Some of us, we was struggling. I was tired of getting, you know, preacher's kid getting a bad rap, you know? we are, Some of us got to do some with our lives. We got to do better. Right, exactly. What's something you don't like about each other or your least favorite thing about each other? Vicky responds too quick. Like, she be talking too fast. How we were talking about <laughs> Like, you'll say something and she'll be like, mm, cause I'm not, I'm like, wait, did you really think before you said that? Cause mm -hmm. it might've offended somebody. I'm working on it though. I'm aware oh I have God. a slick mouth. I gotta keep myself together sometimes because my hormones be getting the best of me. Okay, something I don't like about Lexis, she doesn't take initiative and that frustrates me because I like to take initiative. I'm a, I feel like I'm a very independent person. I like to do things on my own time. Sometimes I just want you to take the initiative, Lex, and decide what you want to do. You know? Me too. <laughs> Then I feel like sometimes you let people influence you to do something you don't want to do. <laughs> well, I feel like you throwing shade at somebody. I'm not throwing shade at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you found your voice though. Because being an adult, you got to have your voice. You can't just let people run over you. I did. I used to just let, like, I'm a, I'm a people pleaser. 
So like, if this is gonna make you happy, even if it like is out of the way for me or just something super uncomfortable for me to do, like I would probably do it. Mm -hmm. So I had to like get away from doing that. Cause then you end up hurt. And then you be like, man, is it me? But it's not you. Sometimes you just gotta stand up and say no. And she don't know how to say no. And that frustrates me. I'm like, say no, you can say no. You know you can say no, right? I'm in this season of my life where I don't wanna do something. I'm not finna lie to you to act like I want to do it. Because then I'm going to do it with an attitude. And then it's not going to get done the way it needs to get done. You know what I'm saying? IG. You'll get there. Wait till you hit 25. 25? 25. Man, that's so It's weird. not. It's not, though. Think about it. You're 23. You're about to turn 24, right? No. I'm oh. about to turn 23. Oh, Landon's about to turn 24. You're about to turn 23. It's only two years away. It's about to be 2020. Did you ever think you were going to see 2020? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's one thing you have in common? We have a lot of things in common. We do have a lot of things in common. We're women. <laughs> we got hair, got eyes, lashes. Um, that just always gives me her cycle. But I don't understand her. Right. Every month you get a hair, <laughs> right? But I feel like you give it to me. Like you have symptoms and then, and then every I get month she's like, get away from me. You're giving me my period. I'm like, no, sis. <laughs> We're going to have it regardless. You like, don't know that. We kind of have the same sense of humor sometimes. Like the shows we, we watch, like we like to watch the same shows. Unless it's like super bad acting, Vicky can't take it. But I think it's funny. Like I, oh, what shows have super bad acting that you watch that I don't watch? Arrow, oh my Supergirl, God, no. No. <laughs> no. Legends of Tomorrow. The only thing I don't like that you like is like crime shows and like political shows and oh, stuff. Oh, well, yeah, that's kind of like my life though. So, but I like to see how everything works. Like that's why, like. Vicky likes to Google stuff because she likes to see how things work. I do. I like to watch legal things because I like to see how they work. Like, we like similar things. We just, like, process it differently because we're different people. But we, we like the same things, pretty much. <laughs> we both like vacation. We like to sit out in the sun. Yes. We like to sleep. If I didn't have a sister who would go outside with me all day, I really don't know what I would have done. I be needing my vitamin D just like you do. <laughs> because. What you mean? Like, just in general, like, I'd be like, what you doing Friday? Nothing. What you want to do? I don't know. We could just chill. I don't like to be around a lot of people, like, to feel people's body heat. I don't know if I'm the only not a touchy one. person. I'm not. I hate being touched. But I can feel people's body heats and stuff like that. So it really makes me uncomfortable if someone's like too close. And then if people are breathing on you. And I don't like the way we, people's breath smell. Like it don't even have to stink. It's but just it's breath. Just this, the yeah. smell of breath. And I just like. Ugh. I feel like you're also an ambivert. <laughs> like you're both introvert and extrovert. I would agree. Like, if you I'll have say, to be social, you can be social. Yeah. Like, I don't like to talk all the time. If you grew up in church, you have to know how to be an extrovert. Exactly. I feel like that's why I started having to talk to people more. Because, like, I'll be quiet and people will go tell my mom on me, like, she didn't say hi to me. Like, why do people feel like that they have to tell on you when you don't talk to them? I don't know. Lexus, what is your hair care routine? During what season? Because <laughs> if it's, like, during the winter... You get different products, gonna, right? Yeah, you're going to see me... With thicker, oily, like more heavier products. Well, I have thick hair anyway, so I can't be doing that watery stuff. So I, I gotta use like thick and like Jamaican flat castor oil. But I can use lighter oils with the thick, creamy substance in the summertime. But I usually just put a protective style in during the winter. That's when my hair really grows. And then I'll have it out during the summer. So I pre poo. So I'll put some apple cider vinegar with some conditioner and some water and a little oil maybe sometimes and then i'll like detangle and go through my hair the conditioner i use for that is garnier okay because it kind of eliminates that apple cider vinegar smell because you know yes i don't really have a favorite shampoo i do like gabrielle union's line i love her hair mask. she has some good stuff i just but i don't like the conditioner but i like the deep conditioner i also will always tell everybody to use aussie moist because aussie moist is three minute, like my hair just feels so amazing. I have yet to find anything that works like that. The moisture, how soft and bouncy my curls are after I'm done using it. And then afterward, I use Mayel. Mayel? Mayel. I use that. Lexa is actually the one who introduced me to Mayel Organics. She told me to buy her some for her birthday one year. Yeah, I really love. She got some good stuff, man. By far, my favorite. The pomegranate and the honey. Mm-hmm. Do we have nicknames for each other? I call you Flex. So I call Vicky whatever she's doing at the moment. So like if she's a rapper, I call her like V-Lo sometimes or like something random that comes to my head. But 
If I'm a rapper? Not, if, not a rapper. Not if you're a rapper, but if you're like freestyling, like me freestyling oh. in the car, or like with Cam's freestyling. Is this Sharknado? Because this is really terrible. No, this is, um, I'm sorry. Don't <laughs> ever disrespect <laughs> Twister. This is Twister. Okay. It's worse than Sharknado. It's from like 1994, so that's why it looks like that. So don't judge. This was really good graphics back in the day. I used to watch Twister like all the time when I was a little kid. Because I did want to be a meteorologist at one point in my life. Wow. I did. I went to school for broadcast journalism. Y'all thought I was playing. I was about to be out here on somebody's news doing this, but just in a more formal way. At this point, I let people just call me whatever. All right. Mm -hmm. If you don't know my name. They need to put some respect on your name. <laughs> it's irritating because people always think that your name is Alexis. And I be, no matter how many times we say your name is not Alexis, people still say Alexis with an A. Imagine me. Imagine me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can call me whatever. Just don't call me the B word. Call me whatever, but don't call me broke. You can do what you want, but you can't call me broke. Um, what's the best part about being sisters? Well, I had one of the siblings when I was younger. Because you Cameron to. was six. Mm. <laughs> let, let me finish. Cameron is six. He's six years older than me. A teenager don't want to play with a little girl. So he he hated me. And he's a boy. And he, he was like, get out of my room. You're annoying. Bye. <laughs> Mom, come get her. I just want to love you. <laughs> I just want to love you. I was like, man, I just need another sibling, like somebody my age that I can play with. I never got another sibling. So when Cam got married, I was like, all right, this is, I can do this, you know? And then like, we bonded over like Cheetah Girls and stuff like that. I was like, this is so amazing because I have nobody else, like, you know, other than your friends, but you can't really take your friends home with you all the time. Facts. So I was like, oh, it's lit. I guess it's fun for me. I thought I was gonna get a younger sister uh, when my mom was pregnant with Jonathan, but lo and behold, I'm like, oh, <laughs> another brother? I already have one of those. So I like was really upset. I wanted a sister. So now I have one. So that's like the best thing is I have a sister now. I can steal from her too. Like not steal, I ask. No, you steal. It's okay. I ask and I just never give it back. Is that stealing? At least I'm a giving person. So you then see? I don't exactly. care. Exactly. I mean, see? just bring it back. I've shared stuff all my life anyways, even though I had a brother. I mean, we shared a lot, so. What's your go-to karaoke song? I'm gonna answer this for you. It's probably Adele. Is it Adele? I feel like I can sing Adele well. That's why I choose Adele. It's in your register. I like to sing Never Enough by Lauren Alred, but <clears throat> that's a car song. That's a car song and that's very ambitious. Very, so you know, it's gotta pick your battles. If I'm feeling like spicy or something, I'll sing some Beyonce in the 90s, like some 90s. Some Beyonce. 90s, some like, some Say My Name. Yeah, yeah. My go-to is always like Bills, Bills, Bills. I mean, this is charred. It smells yeah. charred. Uh, it needs some the salt. Uncharred it needs some salt. I need some butter and some salt and pepper and some chili lime seasoning. What is your favorite memory together? It's not my favorite, but it's one of my favorites. When we were leaving downtown Chicago, was it the Dunkin'? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Chilling with the window down. And it was, it was like January. I don't even know why we had the window down. It was like- It wasn't. It was like November. So she's just chilling. Her arm is out the window, right into her Jeep. She made a turn and the iPad flew out the window. And I had no idea what to do. I just started cracking up. <laughs> she was just like, it wasn't it's just not that funny. it flew out the window though. Like, have you, have you ever seen like those memes where somebody throws their computer out of the window because they're upset? That's what it reminded me of when it flew. And so that's why it was so funny to me. Because if you don't know what iPass is, it's the little, it's the toll pass. iPass, easy pass. I feel like all our vacations are, we have a lot of fun on vacation too. I feel like everyone in my family We're is We're all hilarious. hilarious. So, I mean, I think <laughs> so. that's why. It's a mess, but it's everybody's funny. fair game. Like everybody has talked about. There's no mm -hmm. if your feelings hurt, just oh well. What is one physical trait I have that you wish you had and vice versa? You know my answer. I just need a flat stomach. I don't got no flat stomach. It's flat-ish. It's flatter than mine. But I low-key have a fupa though. Remember how I used to wear like tight dresses all the time? I can't do that no more because I be looking pretty good. No, you don't. I do. I don't recall. You ain't seen it in a long time because I ain't worn no tight dress. <laughs> and my waistline, like the pants, they be super tight. I can't breathe. All my high waist jeans. When was the last time you seen me wear high, high waist jeans? Next size up. Didn't you want to be? No, thick? but then it don't fit in like the like leg area. It don't be looking right. Eh. 
That's not a twist off. I'm telling you, you gotta. Who, who's gonna do that? You said. I can't do that. Don't you got an opener? Not one of them. Okay. What What was we saying? I don't remember. I remember I was there for you. I don't know. I like your little baby hands. I wish I had baby hands. I just feel like if my hands were not so big. My hands and not my feet? I mean, I don't like the shape of your toes, but I would, <laughs> I would take your foot That's size. That's so rude. My feet are cute. No, I don't want them on me. I like that my toes are raising the bar. You know, yours do, that, too. yours do that that thing. They come to a point. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> but I would like to have a smaller foot size, though. That would be nice. And you, you have little, you me. have little nail beds, you know. I do have nice nail beds. I, I like your nail beds. Nails. Mine are wide. What's your favorite thing? To What's do your favorite stuff? thing to do together? Chill. <laughs> uh, watch uh, movies. Movies and, and bad movies too. We, we go, we go to the movies a lot. Yeah, though. we do. But we're movie people. Yeah, our whole family. Is. Our whole family is. We're all movie people. We like to go to movies. Yeah. Go on vacation and lay out in the sun. Chilling, yeah. chilling, chilling like, is key. Pool and chill. Netflix and chill. Eat and chill. Jinx you up your son. Have you ever gotten into an argument? No. I don't argue with people. I'm just gonna throw that out. No. There. I mean, trying to people think I'm lying when I tell them that me and Cam never argue. But we're not argue people. I mean, we have big Yeah, we get upset. But we don't like yell and like yeah. fight. Since we were raised the same way, we we have the same views yeah. about everything, pretty much. So there's nothing for us to like really get into a heated debate about. Either even if we did it, I just I don't argue with people. No, I will not argue with you until I get paid to do it. So, <laughs> advice for building a healthy bond with your in laws, or how to pair a relationship with your in laws. I, look, I don't have in-laws, but I'm just saying. You are to, an in-law. I'm your in-law. What do you mean? Oh, I guess. <laughs> I'm thinking like, <laughs> you're the married one. It's just relationships, period. Like, you can't yeah. think you're right all the time. Like, you have to put yourself in other people's shoes and see from their point of view. Like, okay, I see where you're coming from. I see why you could be upset. Let's resolve this and like come to a common ground. But people don't like to do that. Like, I hate getting on Twitter and people are like, I'm just going to cut you off because you did something I didn't like. And that's not healthy. Yes. And that's probably why y'all only got two friends. And y'all always closing y'all circles smaller and smaller. You're going to have a dot soon. <laughs> <laughs> and that dot is going to be you. It's going to be you. You're going to be isolated. Yourself. And then you're going to blame everybody else in the world for your problems. But it was you all along. You self-sabotaged. Somebody asked, will we ever go on a sister's vacation? Just me and you? Yeah. I need some more money first, though. <laughs> Vicky's expensive. Not that bad. We could go to London. I do want to go to London. Before you still I got more. Well, no, because before before I I did the post, I was gonna do like a how well do you know me? I feel like you would get these right. We can breeze through them really quickly. Okay, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a we're gonna do a how well do you do know me? Way? No matter where. Why are you saying it like in the back of your throat? I was hoping you go more for Alan and Nita. I know, but I, that's the first one that popped in my head. That's our song. Though. It is our song. Okay, how well do you know? Be ready. You got three seconds to answer. What is my favorite food? Pizza. That is facts. Oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> the pressure. That's too oh, much. I forgot you're not good at taking tests. Oh man. Like, I actually don't know what your favorite food is. A favorite food that I cannot eat: Ice lasagna. Cream. Oh, that's not really a food. It's more of a dessert. My favorite food that I can eat, because you don't have to have cheese or dairy on it, tacos. What food do I hate? Salad. <laughs> lettuce. Okay, remain lettuce. Lettuce is facts. I hate lettuce. Lexus hates... Ooh, I don't know. You and Cam like everything. I like most things. I'm not a super picky person, but I don't like everything. I'm acing this test. I mean... <laughs> but we've never talked about... Okay. We've I'm never still... talked about Wait, wait, things. wait. But I'm still acing it though. But we never talked about these things. Every year when we at grandma's house and I ask her, make sure you make no rutabagas because those are disgusting. Who I eats eat rutabaga though? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't like okra. It's slimy. I don't like slimy food. Okay. You don't like slimy food because you won't eat oysters with me. I will not. What is my biggest pet peeve? You know when people say stupid stuff? Not necessarily stupid stuff. I'm very vocal about my pet peeves on, on the social medias. If you go on rants, to be honest, I don't be reading all of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Lexus like, don't be paying attention to nothing I do. She, That's not true. Yes, because... First of all, who's acing this and who's failing? When we, I, used, to, when we used to do Life of the Logans uh, 
frequently, you'd be like, yeah, I stopped watching. <laughs> I was just waiting to binge watch. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Anywho. So what's your... My pet peeve? I don't like random water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me and Cam, like, drink like, like, this much of stuff. Oh! I hate when they... They'll leave, like... They'll leave, like, this much... Like and leave it out like all day and then be mad. Later. Be mad if I throw it away. Like, it's I was gonna drink that. I was, I was saving that. It. It's for later. Lex's biggest pet peeve will when people touch her, particularly her hair. Um, and you also don't like when people take your things and don't ask. Oh, oh yeah, no, that is like if I were to reach into her plate and take something, she would be so upset. I mean, we have the same thing right now. Like she would slap you. Yes. <laughs> That's the only time I've ever seen her get violent. This is easy. What's my favorite TV show? The Office. I actually don't know what your favorite TV show is either. Hannah Montana. First of all, <laughs> how old am I now? <laughs> I know your favorite Disney shows. I just don't know what your favorite show is currently. I don't, so like the thing about favorites, but I don't really have like- Is there anything to be a favorite right now? I really do like The Flash, but I haven't watched it this season, so. But what's your like all time favorite show? I don't know. Wow. So I get that one right. Probably Nikita, actually. You okay. introduced me to Nikita, so that's facts. I did? Yes, you did. Oh. You told me to watch it. I watched it so many times. Like I need to watch it again. What's something that always cheers me up when I'm sad? Cameron. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that counts. Okay, I'm like, I don't know. Ooh, Gigi. She tries. Touching. Touching, yes. That helps. Oh, what's something that cheers you up when you're sad? Sleep? Take a shower? Oh yeah. Take a shower and then go to sleep. What is my favorite song or artist? Let me think about this. Cameron. <laughs> uh, I, feel like I, say, I feel like I should say yes <laughs> because he, if Cameron? he watches this, he's going to be upset. I feel like we have the same favorite. Tori Kelly? Yes! Oh. Why would you know that? Yeah, I thought don't you stand. liked her. I do stand. But. I've literally been to all of her concerts. Are you kidding me? No, we just missed one and I'm still upset I, about it. I'm upset too because you never confirmed. I did. You did not confirm. I text you the seats and you everything and you didn't reply. Left me on red like I told y'all. Whatever. You did not confirm. We didn't make plans. You did not make plans. It was not thorough. So you didn't be thorough. Um, what is my favorite smell? I feel like you may not know this. You like strong scents. Like a musk. <laughs> I do like a musky scent though. But my favorite all time favorite scent is mint. That's one thing we differ on. I love Scents. minty. I love minty stuff. I hate the scent she likes. <laughs> she does. Cam does too, actually. Yeah, Cam with the vanilla and the, the muskies. Like, mm -mm. mahogany teakwood is a good scent. Lexus <laughs> is a bottle of Juicy Couture walking with legs and arms. I do. I wear rosé every day. <laughs> you are such a rosé face. <laughs> Get your rosé. <laughs> if I went to jail, what crime would it be for? I feel like it would be something ratchet, like she was twerking public. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, oh, I'm sorry. We had to take her to the station. Because... She wouldn't stop dancing. Yeah. I feel like if you got arrested for something, like they would let you go. Yeah, I feel like I if anything, you may have argued with a cop or something. Probably. I do do that. Like when I got pulled over and he thought I was breaking into your house, I was like, Sir, do I look like I'm breaking into your house? <laughs> do I look like? If, if I could be any animal, what would it be? I want to say a lemur so bad. No. <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like a lemur really embodies it. <laughs> I used to watch the Boomafoo all the time and I used to hop to the side like a lemur. That is really accurate. I'm upset. What would you but be? But Lou offended, actually. Wait, you want to be like a, a cheetah? No. You don't know what my favorite animal is? Wow. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you. Wait, what? My favorite animal, like, doesn't represent me at all. But it's a giraffe. I was, didn't I say giraffe? You almost said it. If Lexus was an animal, she would be... Wow, I do not know. I, like, I don't know why, but you remind me of Peppa Pig. Not that you're a pig, but you know how she's just... She's so little and so cute. She's like, I got my soul. <laughs> and then she hung up on her friend because she was <laughs> that you would do that. You rob your Peppa. Thank you guys for watching. We are done. I don't know if we did this mukbang, mukbang right. We just ate. I don't know if you're supposed to talk about the food while you're eating it or eat it real nasty so people can hear you chewing. I hate that. I, I hate, hate that too. That. So I don't really want to do all that. I was not going to edit that. Yeah.
that's it. I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more videos. I guess with Lexus, if she wants to come back. It's going to take another three years. It's going to take another three years for us to do this again because it took us a long time to get here. That's it. Do you think you want to say? No. All right. Well, 